Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, my name is Anne and on my channel, I review foreign international content. Today, I'm back to review Love featuring Marriage and Divorce. We're in season three, episode 11. I'm doing that every week. So if you're watching, please join us, especially in the comment section. It's where it's all just fire. We all just don't know if we're coming or going. This show is the most craziest show ever. I think we've all agreed to that. And clearly, once again, look at this. What is with this show and ghosts? Now, whose child's ghost is this that is following uh, San Hume's mother? What is going on? By the way, I have seen this uh, child actor. He is so good. Apparently, it's a boy, but he can act both boy and girl. He was in High by Mama and played a girl. I did not know it was a boy until somebody said, by the way, that's a boy. So whose ghost is this? Whose child is that? I'm trying to figure out like who it's if it's a ghost, that means this child died. So whose child was that? And following her, because we know right now, San Hyun's her son has just had a baby. Are they trying to tell us that baby would die? What is this? I swear, this show, these writers never finish one storyline before they throw more on there. For example, we have not found out what is so heartbreaking about Mr. Seo. That's what they left us thinking last episode. And then this episode, we just move on like, you know, we're not going to address that right now. We're going to go straight to, by the way, Dogma's mom is the one who died. I think most of us predicted that that's who died. I know some people are like, oh no, it's Mr. CEO who died or it's Dogma who's going to die. But I think most of us knew it was Dog Dogma's mom. So I was so happy that it wasn't Mr. CEO or Dogma who died, right? Oh my gosh. So let's go back to Sun Hyun's character. So we saw that he ended up marry marrying uh, Bo Hai Run. However, all we are seeing is that when he looks at her, he's seeing Song Won. And now all of a sudden, Bo Hai Ri has become like this, um, you know, quiet girl acting like it's Song Won. I'm like, so what is that? And then, I don't know if you guys saw at the end, uh, it sounds like she may be pregnant, right? I don't know, like what kind of confusing stuff is that? So she's gonna be possessed forever and never be herself? That's just crazy. And then obviously there's this ghost of the baby that is even more confusing. And then let's go to Mr. Seo and the fact that now that uh, the dogma's mom died and now the father has accepted uh, Seo Un although she's got children. And then now that Dogma told him he wants to marry Piang, uh, at first he wasn't for it. After his wife died, he's like, you know what? Life is short, that's fine. And then he ends up uh, inviting them. They come over to check on him because he's not doing well. They're trying to feed him. I love that uh, Piang was feeding him ice cream. And then Seo Un brings um, uh, sweet potatoes just to kind of feed him. And then he's like, now that you guys are going to marry my sons, can you guys move in and live with us? And Piang is like, oh yeah, sure, I'll, I'll move in. And then uh, Seo Un's like, sure, I will too. But Mr. Seo's face was like, I don't know about that. We should have a discussion before you agree to moving in here. Because I'm thinking, obviously, he never had a good relationship with his dad. His dad never cared about him or his mom. So now all of a sudden, he wants them to move in. I can, Mr. Seo is like looking like he's about to say uh, H to the no, 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 no. But we'll see. Maybe Seo Un will convince uh, him uh, to move in. Which, by the way, I loved when Seo Un went and saw her ex-husband and told him to shove it and like, leave us alone. Leave me alone. This is the time, last time you're gonna, I'm going to see you and stop bothering me and the kids. You can come see them. Obviously, they're your children, but you are not allowed to bulldoze them about my relationship and all that stuff. I was like, yes, yes, Sion, you tell them. Because he thinks that you're weak and you can speak for yourself. 
she was like stop messing with my kids right like stop messing with the kids this is between me and you and you involving the kids is just not right and fair oh i loved her for that right and then by the way the ex-husband hangs around uh dog me if they ended end up getting together writers don't even go there if they end up getting together we're gonna die like listen don't push that envelope i know this story is crazy but if that's where that's going oh you can call me anytime whoa first of all how is you sheen gonna feel you're gonna date my stepmother and she's way much older than you it better not go that way because that would be disgusting i mean i'm like come on crazy now your sheen it seems like he's about to find out first of all he just found out that his uh, ex-wife piang is engaged he didn't even know anything he didn't even know that she was in a relationship and now he's engaged and she he just shows up like wait you're getting married oh that's gonna be fun they showed a little bit of that uh for next week and then by the way tell me so pian calls siun and says go check on jia make sure she turns her phone off and then at that time dogma is calling uh pian to say mr kim uh almost like who is mr kim to jia is that what we're getting there that's a preview from next week are they trying to say your sheen is not jia's dad and maybe jia never knew and so maybe dogma found out and is trying to find out who is this guy and if that's the case are they worried that maybe your sheen um is gonna say something to jia or what is that about uh, make sure her phone is turned off because Gia already know right now that her dad is um, she, uh, he cheated with Ami and he knows who that is right so what's with the make sure her phone is off is it because maybe um, she doesn't like her dad right now so maybe they didn't want her to know that she, he was home I didn't get the whole go get her phone what's on the phone tell me as usual tell me what what is that about like oh make sure her phone is turned off that was strange anyway and by the way uh namga being being asked to go sing at bo hyran's wedding with sun hyun that was strange because at first it's like wait you um are gonna ask me to go sing when the friend of mine who died used to date your husband it, it was just so strange even Ami was like, no, don't do it, don't do it. And by the way, it also seems like Ami is also pregnant because she went to see Yoshin and she's like, I'm feeling dizzy and nauseous. Yep, I guess everybody's getting pregnant. What a crazy show. And it's like, they never finish one storyline. It's like, you give us this, you leave us hanging, and then you move on to something else. Like, we should have had a little bit of information about Mr. Seo because you made us so invested into everybody so heartbroken about him and then now you're gonna throw in a ghost of a child and i have no idea whose child this is comments down below somebody tell me maybe somebody figured out from season one or season two who is this child who if it's a ghost it's dead so whose child was that and at this point i'm like why oh, why do we need this who knows anyway let me know what you thought of episode 11 i'm always interested to hear because i really don't know what's going on at this point we watch for entertainment because none of this makes sense we've accepted this is who it is the writers have decided we're gonna do whatever we want you know whatever and i know every episode is like the shocker right it's almost like what are we gonna shock them with every week it's like what are we gonna shock them with so this week was let me let's introduce a ghost again oh I'm so over the ghost. Like, why do we need ghosts? Like, do Koreans believe in ghosts? Because here in America, people will be like, could you stop that craziness? People would be like, no, 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 no. We don't want that. But this must be a thing, right? Anyway, if you like my video, please give me a like, subscribe. It does help to support my channel. I'm always grateful that you join me. Please join me. Um, actually, please join me tomorrow. I'm reviewing our blues started today oh mg i can't wait to come review it i'm gonna review it tomorrow it has mr sunshine it has 
Shin Mi Ah, it is so good. We need to start watching that one. So I'm gonna review that one uh, tomorrow. So please join me tomorrow and then join me next week for this one when we see what happens in episode 12. Thank you so much. Deuces.